Hello and welcome to episode 25 of Crypto Cartography. Today we're talking decentralized exchanges, automated market makers, stable coins, and yield farming. I will timestamp the video in the description as we touch on a few different topics today. We have 10 minutes, so let's get started. Today we're talking the Cur D Curve DAO token, cash tag CRV, a little over a dollar dollar per token at the moment, $67 million market cap, but fully diluted market cap of $3.4 billion. So we'll see a big difference between our circulating supply and our max supply, which is what we really care about, and we'll dive deep into that today. Over to our TLDR investment thesis, a non-custodial, low slippage, low fee, decentralized exchange, automated, automated market maker, and mid medium term savings account. So every time someone makes a trade on curve.fi, liquidity providers, you and I who, who put money into the curve pools, get a small fee of 0.04% split evenly among all providers. So the APYs, when you, when you look at the curve DAP, come from trading fees, interest from pools using the lending protocols, and then also something we will look, uh, we'll talk about called incentivized pools as well. A little bit of a history. The white paper was back in November 2019, actually called Stable Swap back then, Efficient Mechanism for Stablecoin Liquidity. Have a look at page three if you're interested in how they improve upon low slippage compared to Uniswap's invariant, compared to Stable Swap's invariant. That helped me visualize slippage very well. Um, they also had a curved DAO. White, white paper as well. And I just want to note one sentence here that I think is very interesting. The Curve DAO has a token CRV, which is used for both governance and value accrual. So a value accrual is a utility for this token. Um, it was actually launched, funny story, by a rogue developer. Let's have a look at this. This Twitter account is 0xchad. And he, on, he or she, on August, 2003, or August 13, 2020, said, Yo, Curve Finance, I saw your DAO is ready to rock, and I got to maximize my alpha. So I went ahead and deployed it for you. Get at me to DM to verify, and let's get this party started. So he actually deployed the smart contract, which was open sourced, um, before Curve did. Curve was obviously planning this for probably months and months. So they replied and said, someone deployed CRV based on smart contracts we had published on GitHub, front running their efforts. While they initially were skeptical, it appeared to be acceptable. Deployment was correct with correct code, data and admin keys. Due to the token DAO getting traction, they had to adopt it. So this was a big deal um, when 0x Chad, uh, probably Deegan of the Year, deployed this contract. So that happened in August. We'll see that the token issuance was a day later, um, actually on the same day, August 13th, obviously. Um, price has significantly declined since that outset. So we've got a lot of people that are out of the money holding CRV. Um, we'll talk about whether you should hold CRV. Um, there are options here of what type of token it is. Going over to the DAP itself, let's actually have a look at the DAP. Um, so the utilities really were actually helping stablecoins keep their peg. Um, so if we continually trade stablecoins, obviously we have all we have our five, six, seven actually major stablecoins here that we can switch between each other for low slippage, low fees. As well, we can wrap our BTC into REN, WBTC, SBTC, and HBTC. And now, how do I if I actually switched my die over to REN or and or actually over to SUSD or if I just wanted to deposit stable coins onto Curve, um, what would I then do with it? So I would actually come up here to the green arrow section, and if let's say I had um, some some SUSD, I would actually come here to deposit, and then I would deposit my SUSD into the SUSD Curve liquidity pool. So there's nine pools, five lending, three BTC, and one stable coin pool, and then I would be earning APY based on my staked assets. So let's have a look at the pools down here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Here are our nine curve pools. We have our comp, uh, they're actually named as well. Excuse me, let me click back. Zero through eight, they've got names from compound. Our top five, zero through four are all stablecoin pools. Ren, SBT, CC, SBTC and HBTC or BTC pools, and then we have a third um, kind of optimized stablecoin pool, and we can see what their APYs are. And um, we can see, let's say for the for the Y um, pool, the APY is 1.65 percent, and you also get 15 to variable 15 to 39 percent CRV as well accruing. So a little bit of yield farming there from depositing stablecoins, you're earning CRV. The only one there is so there's all pools earn interest from trading fees. Some pools also earn interest from lending, the, uh, the lending pool, zero through four. 
And then there's also some pools that are incentivized pools. Um, and you can see here synthetics right now is the only one that you get your 1.92% APY, you get your 9 to 23% CRV, and you also get your incentive um, of a 1.13 SNX payment as well. So be on the lookout that you're able to earn three different ways from depositing in one of the curve pools. Um, once that is depositing and using the actual curve pools, um, we also have the curve token CRV, which is a governance token for time-weighted voting, and it's also a utility token for value accrual. Um, so once I have my CRV, I can actually turn it into VE CRV, which is vote escrowed CRV. I can stake and lock it um, to get VCRV, and then I can get weight, weighted voting. Here are the benefits, weighted voting, boosting, and APY from Curve Finance. So there is a boost factor that you can get up, up to 2.5x boosting. Um, when you turn your CRV, if I go to use CRV here, here it is. Um, one CRV lock for four years is equal to one VE CRV. Um, and it's a sliding scale there. And where are the statistics? Um, if I go back to home, there's currently about 1.5 billion in all of the pools. Come over to the Dow. Here is the Dow page, and that's pretty much the organization right now. Um, it is a decentralized exchange that other protocols can use their stable coins. Um, you and I can provide liquidity to become liquidity providers. Um, and then we can also buy or earn our CRV and then stake it to get VE CRV. Here it is. The total C CRV locked is about 14 million of them, 15% of the circulating supply. That turns into total VE CRV of 11.8 million with an average lock time of 3.37. So... That's pretty much the premise of all of our fundamental valuation propositions at the moment. Um, they are kind of the leader in terms of, in my opinion, of um, along with Uniswap in terms of stable coin exchanges um, and also DEXs in general. Uh, I have listed out some investment risk down the bottom. Our economics risk, this is a novel economic system. We have layered smart contract risk. Um, as we go deeper into, um, let me go back to curve.fi, as we go deeper into, say, wrapping our tokens, they get on, they get layered onto different contracts. Um, we're using the Curve pool, um, uh, platform, as well as other lending protocols, Wiren, REN, Wrap BTC, SBTC. So we have layered smart contract risk, pool risk, um, if any of these assets become a liquid, hacker risk, obviously we're in finance. Um, so hacker risk is always a potentiality, but we are non-custodial, this organization. We have supply inflation risk, and let's jump right into that next. We need to keep up pace with our massive difference between our circulating supply and our um, max supply of 3.3 billion. And let's go, let's go into that right now, because I want to talk about what is the dollar value of all of this token issuance, because we can see that our price is going down consistently um, since issuance um, a little over a month ago. But what's happening to our market cap? Our market cap because we are issuing so many tokens, is actually maintaining value um, around 60, 70 million. If I come to the dow.curve.fi um, slash release schedule, I can actually see the token issuance schedule. And every day we are actually issuing, let me go over to my, uh, my Excel here. We've got our date, our total CRV market cap, our price, our CRV tokens, and our daily issuance. I wanna focus on this daily issuance really quickly. Every day we're issuing about 1.9 million CRV. Um, this was just in August and September. Based on the price each day, we can actually get a number of what that value is. So the very first day we issued about 22 million in value, um, even though people are bought those tokens or earned those tokens at, what was it, $11 back on August 15th. The price has obviously crashed um, since then. But at that date, we, were, we issued 22 million in value um, that other protocols like Wiren potentially farmed, sold, um, and actually kind of got out while it was at this price um, and, and converted back into stable coins. So I've gone ahead and added this up that every day we're issuing about $1.9 million tokens. Um, that plot, that that issuance has a dollar value, um, and here it is in column G. And then if you if you make that cumulative just over this last 46 days since we uh, issued the token, we've issued about 251 million in value. So 
we can kind of bake that in to in between our market cap of 67 million and our fully diluted valuation of 3.4 million to see if it's reasonable. Um, we, I've also done that for community tokens. So pause your screen here. The community tokens for LPs, uh, we get about 7,500,000 um, CRV issued for providing liquidity. And then based on gauges, um, that dictates which liquidity pool gets um, the daily CRV issuance. Also, really quickly, wanted to talk um, potential revenues. So our trading fee is 0.04%. If I multiply it by the 24-hour volume, I do get a dollar value here. If I add up the 46 days of trading fees, um, it looks about 1.75 million. I can annualize that to get about 13.85 million. I can take our market cap and divide it by that annualized estimated revenue, get about a 4.78x multiple fully diluted from our 3.4 billion. That's about a 248x multiple. So obviously a large spread there, but big difference between our circulating supply market cap and our fully diluted market cap. Um, this does not include any of our interest to lending protocols, um, as well as our incentives from um, different protocols like we saw with SNX. So this, this is probably a low ball. This is just for trading fees. Now going over to our Google Sheet, where we'll end for today. Um, here's our three different growth mechanisms. Um, we do have the trading fees that if you and I become liquidity pool providers in the curve pools, which we went through, um, we'll get trading fees. Um, we will also get interest from lending protocols. And then also CRVs being supplied and issued new, fresh every day. And if we provide our liquidity, we'll get some of that as well. Here is the APY for staking CRV, daily traded volume times our uh, trading fee. You can see it's 0 0.0002 there because um, based on this vote, here's the voting UI um, for if you own the CRV, you can go here and vote. Um, based on different um, proposals. And 50% of the admin fees is going to go into certain pools. So now that your APY as a staker is actually half of the 0.04%. So just note that. And based on this, I've actually calculated some estimated APYs. We're taking our daily traded volume multiplied by our trading fee times days of the year divided by our total VCRV estimate. I had to estimate column G. Um, multiplied by our CRV price. And as you can see, it's a, it's a variable APY, um, anywhere from 30% all the way up to 300%. And I have seen them tout on their Twitter upwards of 200% interest um, APY uh, based on, on given days. Now, to finish up the video, pause this screen. I'm at 13 minutes now, but if you go to DeFi comparables, I've broken out pretty much uh, a lot of the big DeFi players at the moment. Obviously, we're looking at DEX and AMMs. Valuation measurements, I want to see stablecoin growth, protocol lending growth, and uh, continued high APY. Portfolio, if you need these subsectors in your portfolio, consider looking at the CRV token or becoming a liquidity provider. Um, and have a look at our exercise here on some potential market caps that I've estimated um, and the impact on an $1,000 investment on the token price, the investment value, and the percent of profit. And of course, also look at our potential investment outcomes. Um, as that's what I kind of see as four pretty optimal ways to either hodl um, or sell on the short term or long or long run. So that's our 10 minutes at the Curve Dow token. Um, let me know your thoughts. A lot of potential here. We do have cash flows, which I love to see for crypto organizations. Um, happy crypto investing. Like and subscribe. See you next time.